I'm Olivia Hires, and welcome to the very first episode of Hive Notes. Our guest today is the band Trigger Digit out of Murfreesboro. We've got Brian, Chase, David, Jeremy, and Robert here to play for us tonight. All right, y'all ready? All right, let's get swifty. Are you okay, Chase? This first song is called Eight Ball. Setting things or breaking rules. How did I end up here without a play to get me back to where it's safe? Trapped behind the eight ball with bumpers all around. Is there still a way out the end? Can you show me how? Trapped behind the eight ball. upper hand with all your tricks you play me like a fool and got your kicks I feel like just a fish and you're a shark but watch you have to play the part trap behind the eight ball Chase and, and uh, David mainly uh, with a couple other guys um, and then uh, they were losing a couple of members and uh, Chase knew Jeremy from school uh, in the marching band and everything um, so uh, and I uh, found out about everybody through Craigslist uh, Chase made a, <laughs> a, story. a post about that 
really, really talked us up. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Like, yeah, we did all this stuff, we're going to do all this stuff, and uh, we actually wound up trying these two out on the same day. I actually had talked to Jeremy, we'd known each other a year, a little over a year, uh, MTSU Band Blue, and I was like, you play drums? You want to be in my band? He's like, sure. So we went back to his uh, apartment over at Womack, and we played this really simple, just little thing. I was like, if you can play this, you're in the band. And yeah. He was like, knocked it out. And I was like, all right, you're in the band. And then, you know, I made our super fluffy Craigslist ad and met this guy, and mm -hmm. which since high school. Which and they promised that uh, there would be a, some kind of show with, what was the band? Uh, well, <laughs> that doesn't matter, but, yeah, yeah. but it, it, just, it never happened. <laughs> hey, hey, well, I'm still it here. Didn't, it, it, it hasn't happened yet. It hasn't <laughs> happened <laughs> yet. Of course, of course. Of course. Well, I mean, now y'all are, you know, you're on a live broadcast right now. It's pretty awesome. Yes. I'm, I'm excited. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right. So, um, yeah, I heard uh, you classically trained in music. Uh, well, I guess. Well, I guess I did start off as on violin when I was a young child. I guess, but uh, I mean, by the time I got to high school, I kind of dropped violin, joined the choir, uh, picked up guitar, and everything. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I guess I guess I did start with classical, but you know, it, it's it's not really. I think she meant the Berkeley. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> well, well, that's Berkeley, but she Berkeley, is, classic. Berkeley is really a, more of a jazz school yeah. actually. Oh yeah, well, so, yeah. Um, so really, yeah, I did a lot of jazz up there, and uh, this, that school is, is becoming um, more modern uh, all the time. They're, they're doing a lot of work to try to make sure that, that they truly are a contemporary music school. I mean, they, they've been calling themselves a contemporary school for a long time mm -hmm. when jazz was contemporary, but obviously <laughs> it's not so much anymore. Yeah. So they're working on that. Um, but uh, so, yeah, I mean, uh, but I, I did... Uh, uh, study songwriting, so that's that's helped a lot with the group, I guess. Oh, um, well, you guys sound amazing, uh, absolutely amazing. Thank you. So, um, I know one thing that um, Trigger Digit is doing is uh, trying to save the block in Murfreesboro. Uh, Chase, you're the one who yeah, told yeah, me about that. all that. Mm -hmm. He's the one, you're, you're the one setting that up. So, well, um, it was um, it was a little bit of a collaboration uh, between myself and uh, Joel Erickson from Conquer the Distance. Really great guy, great band. Check him out. Um, and Vanessa Christina, who is a big active member of the, the local Murfreesboro scene. She's done a lot for a lot of people. Yeah, bye. No, bye if you're watching, <laughs> by the way. Um, they've done a lot for the scene, and uh, so has The Block. Uh, it's run by Quentin Thornton and uh, Manny. I cannot remember his last name right now. But Quentin's kind of the front of house guy, and um, he puts on a lot of the shows and everything. He's a really great guy. He plays in the Acorn people. Also, check them out. Yeah, I'm going to name drop every band I know. Go for it. <laughs> um, we know a lot of good bands. For okay, well, let, the let, get, leave their names with me so I can get them on the show, too. Oh, Absolutely. Um, Wonderful. But, yeah, like, the block hasn't been doing as well lately. Uh, I feel like a lot of it's due to just this time of year is slow for a lot of restaurants, local businesses and stuff, and, you know, there's not as much local produce being grown. Everything they do is locally sourced. Oh, uh, that's awesome. That's Very, really very cool. unique. All of uh, the artwork in there is all local, 100% local, and I really love the place for that. Um, the food is amazing. Have, the food is great, absolutely <laughs> great. Uh, good price. It's, it's really good, good service, and they have a lot of really unique beers. They have beers you've never heard of. Uh, uh, Y'all are going to be doing a concert there this Friday? Yes, Friday we night? are. Yes. All um, right. We're well, Thursday and Friday. Thursday right? and it's Friday? It's a two-day event. Okay. Um, Thursday is Save the Block Part 1, and that's actually when me and this guy, our prog metal project, Old Man Oblivion, is playing. Oh, cool. And cool. then uh, Friday, we have a whole bunch of bands playing. Yeah. I honestly can't remember all of them off the top of my head. I, I've, uh, I've seen the Facebook event. There's a lot of them. There are a, bit, a lot of them. That'll give the viewers something to go yeah, look at. Yeah, check out the yeah. Facebook event. Look it's on, um, it's on uh, my Facebook page as well, the Olivia High Facebook page. So, um, But, you know, just... You guys are really, really great. Um, I've heard you, uh, David was telling me a little while ago you've opened for some larger name bands, a couple of them. Oh, yeah, uh, Saliva. Yeah. Saliva. The first show was a sort of ill-prepared opening for uh, Saliva. Hey. When they came in, uh, not the original singer, of course. Well. The, when they yeah. come in, town, they were good, though. <laughs> and October and, Rage, too. Yeah, there's a band called oh. October Rage from Australia that oh, cool. we actually ended up being friends with. They're really cool. but. My personal favorite big act that we have played with, mm -hmm. by far, is Thank You Scientist. Uh, um, oh, yeah. We played within the Main Street. Uh, it, was it was a winter like time, kinda, a couple years ago, a few years ago. Kind of like right before they blew up, too. Yeah. Right. Okay. And then they uh, they got in with Coheed, and they went on tour with them. And it's just been, it's just been really awesome. They've had a lot of success. Um, 
that was really an honor being able to play with them. Oh, I bet. They're, they're Absolutely incredible bet. musicians, incredible musicians. Well, you guys are as well. So, you know, I'd love to hear another song. Running Circles is actually probably the one song by y'all I've been listening to on repeat oh. since I got you. <laughs> we get that one. I yeah. love it. It's That's, really great. We have a music video. For I know that you one. do. It's really good. Check it out. Uh, there sh we'll be linking the YouTube page for Trigger Digit uh, uh, in the comments here in a second. So, all right. All right. I am going to step up. <laughs> have some really heavy alt rock influences um yeah which ones would you say would be you know the ones that you really look for for the, the style and the sound uh we're so mm -hmm. at least for this album that we're working on it varies quite a bit yeah <laughs> we can go from like the punkiest of punk band covers and like that kind of feel all the way to like semi-prog metal like and so that kind of all blends together a lot of bands when they say you know we're hard and we're rock they kind of blend it together and they go, we can, yeah. like, we can do punk and metal. And we don't mean punk metal, we mean literally punk and metal. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a cool, cool little roller coaster oh, yeah. album that we're working on. Um, is, uh, do you have an idea when this new album's going to be out anytime? They might know. They might? Uh, nope. 2017? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 That is the most specific yeah. release date I have ever heard. Yeah. They, yeah, you know what? Let me know when it comes out, y'all. I really want, I want copy. Mm -hmm. yeah. so. um, Seriously, I mean, <laughs> yeah, yes. 
a little bit more yeah. about the album. I want to explain yeah, a little more on that. Definitely. We have been we've been working on it for quite a while. I mean, yeah, for years. for those who have been following our updates, we've been saying, "Yeah, we're going to release this album. We're going to release this album." <laughs> we have been working on it very diligently. It's, it's um, so we're mixing yeah. in my car all the time, and all of our cars. Like we're yeah. we're working hard on it, and it's self-produced. Is one reason. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So when we started. We, they just everybody's gotten better skills as we go on. So mm -hmm. actually, we kind of like just scrapped it at one point and redid everything. That's one reason it took yeah. a while. But Every, everything's been recorded yeah. at least twice. And but <laughs> it's gonna be worth the wait. Like this because it's you know it took us all. We put a lot of music on that album. Oh yeah, like fifteen tracks. That's, oh wow, yeah. that's a big album. And the yeah. mixing is yeah. and the, the, tra the track quality is going to be considerably yeah. better than anything we've ever yeah. released. Oh, that's it's, awesome. Yeah, that's one of the what? biggest reasons why there are so many songs is because we're redoing a lot of them from. Uh, we released two EPs back in the day and two standalone songs, uh, but th those were the days back yeah. when David was actually the singer of the group. Yeah, that mm -hmm. might confuse people um, when they watch s some of the videos. Yes, that actually yeah. that confused me a lot too. But <laughs> but yeah, it's like, not me. No, it's yeah. not, <laughs> not me. I used to be the singer, but I say like, I want to play guitar. I got a friend Robert. Yeah. He was in an old band of mine. He's a Great front man. We were from oh, Masquerade. People. If anybody from yeah. Manchester remembers Masquerade, that's right. <laughs> and those so. were the. <laughs> <laughs> there will be some masquerade songs here. Oh, yeah, we awesome! Some, we paused awesome. them up for DJ, but uh, yeah, yeah it was long, long time waiting, but it's gonna be worth the wait. It's oh. like the quality will be amazing. It's like light years ahead of anything that we put out. So, well, I mean, that this album sounds yeah. like it's gonna have quality and quality, yeah, we, especially we get, with that many tracks. We've told a lot of times that we're just so much better than what's on YouTube or whatever, and that's because true, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. right. Well, um, what platform are you planning on re releasing the album on? Is it going to be on like iTunes or SoundCloud or everything? Everything, yeah, everything, yeah, everything you can get. You'll okay. be able yes. to get it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. Of course. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys sound amazing. So let's keep this going. Uh, what's this next song? This next song is called September Song. It's one of the more like it's one of the songs it that have more of a meaning. It's okay. a little slower tempo, but uh, there is a. A man in mine in his life that passed away, his uh, stepdad that was mm -hmm. one of the few like really good male role models in our life, and uh, just after I heard he passed away, I was like, man, that really sucks because uh, he was just a good friend of ours. But uh, I got home, I was like just writing a song, and then so I wrote this song. I actually wrote this song the same day as I wrote the last song we played. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, because okay. I was just in a really emotional mood that day, so I was like, I wrote something kind of soft, I wrote something kind of heavy, but. All right. Well, yeah, this one's called this. September Song. To be honest, this, this okay. is one of those ones from the from the Masquerade days. Big song yes, it's me. actually if you've only heard it from Masquerade or our EPs or whatever, it's actually we play it differently now. It'll okay. be differently on the album too, so it'd be kind of cool we play it. All right. Flesh it out, pretty good way. Awesome. All right. <laughs> i 
School, I just did choir and yeah. marching band and when I was percussion. Oh, but, nice. Uh, but yeah, just, I've done music pretty much since I was like 16. All right. Me and uh, Robert, we was little tykes, and he picked up a guitar, <laughs> and he's like playing like Secret Agent Man and stuff and Seven Nation Army. I'm like, I'm not going to play too. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. So he showed me a few things. I finally took a little bit of lessons, but largely self-taught, which is why I'm not amazing <laughs> compared to the other ones. Well, it's sound but great. Uh, Chase, you have some really good <laughs> finger work while uh, playing the, solo, uh, the solos on the guitar. You really do. It sounds great. Uh, you studied with John Cook? I did. Uh, I got to give him a shout out. John Cook is uh, a fantastic guitar player. Right. I would not be half the musician I am today without his guidance and teaching. He's he's a hell of a teacher. Uh, <laughs> that's like all I can say about him. He plays in... He's playing in a band called Jack Wagon yep, right now. Jack Wagon, uh, uh, him and Mike Rudder. 
Yeah, yeah. And, and Mike Rudder also is phenomenal, amazing. Phenomenal. Oh, wow. um, I've known Mike since I was about 14 years old, and he is just he can rip a bass, he can rock like my god. <laughs> um, and John, you know, he's he can play any style that you ask of him. Uh, he, he can literally do anything, and he kind of just like I actually recently started taking lessons with him again just because you know there's just so much you can learn oh, from yeah. him. Um, I've been playing since I was about 16. Uh, I was self-taught for about a year. Um, I was really into the whole uh, Coffee County High School Battle of the Bands thing. It was this big thing we did every year. Yeah, um, I, I that those stuff, days. it got competitive. I believe it. Um, yeah, there were bands like, you, you can ask David, you would, you could play guitar and they'd be like, you play guitar, let's battle. <laughs> and then you learn to play any, if you play any guitar, it's like, let's battle, man. Like, that shit got competitive. I actually won, though. And he, yeah, this guy did win a battle. I didn't win a guitar battle, but I won the actual contest, which is what I'm Yes, that's that, that does matter. And I, uh, like... <laughs> but it was just like, I don't know, that whole drive is what got me to want to start getting good, because it was like mm -hmm. a competitive thing to do, and I'm kind of a competitive personality, yeah. so... It's like I want, yeah, I want to be good. I want to, I want to do a battle. I did a couple of battles, and no one ever really wins a guitar battle. Let's just be honest. You just kind of look like a douche. <laughs> uh, but either way, that's kind of what got me started. And I was in a band, uh, my very first band, with a uh, buddy of mine, Jake Essery, mm -hmm. and Eric Grosh and Josh Powell. It's called Crash Test Failure. It's a punk band. And then I did Birth of Inception with Corbin Brawlier, Josh Cox, Sean Davis, and we had like three different drummers. Uh, yeah, drummers were hard to find in Coffee County. Um, oh. Yep. And then I didn't do music for a little bit, or at least I didn't play any gigs for a while. Mm -hmm. And then I met these guys, and here we are today. All right. Now you know what, Jeremy, I'm actually going to talk to the drummer in the back. So tell me a little bit about I yourself. Tell me a little bit about oh, I know we have to. I guess we have to acknowledge oh, you. Oh, just a little bit. A little um, bit. So I guess kind of the same thing for me. I started uh, really playing music in high school. Like I, I was doing music in middle school, but it was like tuba. <laughs> <laughs> so like I mean yeah learning to read music but mm -hmm. I didn't really start doing music until high school I actually played guitar and keys in high school oh, cool. in all my bands in high school that yeah. just kind of went nowhere and did nothing <laughs> um, and then I was actually about to move from Atlanta to Murfreesboro for school and one of my old drummers just put on Facebook like, hey, I'm trying to get rid of some of my drum kits, um, selling one for $20. And I texted him, I'm like, hey, yeah. I, th I think you messed up. I think you dropped a zero. And he's like, no, $20. No, $20. <laughs> I'm like, all right, I'm on my way. <laughs> and I just, I set up my drum kit in my dorm room my freshman year thinking I would irritate everybody. But then within the first week, everybody was like, wait a minute. You got a drum kit up here? We can have our drums up here? So then <laughs> yeah. I all became the drum hall. Just second floor of Sims Hall at MTSU. Was, there was like seven drum kits for like 12 rooms or oh something. Oh my gosh. It was, is, it was kind of awesome. It was kind of great. That, that, is, that sounds amazing. I bet a lot of people really hated you, but at the same time, it's great. Well, it was like that particular part was supposed yeah. to be like the musicians. Okay. Drums. So like everybody was like, oh, hey, cool. Like I'm sure a lot of people that were playing drums then uh, – Mm -hmm. Had a lot easier time getting gigs just because everybody knew. Yeah. Like, oh, hey, found a drummer because basically, yeah. Now nobody plays drums. Yeah, no, it's hard <laughs> so to find. It's a impossible drummer. to find it, which is why I'm doing drums with so many. I'm in like four projects right now. Oh just wow. Just everybody's like, oh, hey, you play drums? Cool. Let me borrow you. And yeah. <laughs> pretty. Yeah. Yeah. How it goes. Yeah, like, how it goes. So I, I never play guitar anymore because <laughs> of that. It's like, oh, this is all I do now. All right, so this next song is called Fires of Light. Yes. All right, this is one that I've never heard. And yeah, it's, a, it's one of my older songs. Older one? It's just, this was kind of punky. Kind of punky? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll let y'all get to it. Let me scooch over. <laughs> The 
bitterness that lingers is hard to appease. Come on in and try not to leave. Will I be the same? Maybe, but now I've got these fires to take. Everything I thought I had is gone up in flames. Guilty pleasures, what can I say? If you watch closely, you learn how to play. Tried to control it, I tried to say no. Just let it go Come on in and try not to leave But if you have to, that's alright with me yeah. The fires are alight and around me they burn I know you want to try it, but wait for your turn Everything I thought I had is gone up in flames Maybe I won't get mad David the longest. I met him. Technically, I met him when I was in the sixth grade, but it was pretty much he was just one of the other kids trading Pokemon cards. <laughs> <laughs> True. So, wasn't much done with music then, and then I got held back a year and started hanging out with him and his crew of friends, and we all just started hanging out, playing video games together. And when I started picking up guitar, it was probably around 13 or 14 mm -hmm. that I started picking it up, and just kind of got to a certain point and wasn't really amazing, so I started teaching him a couple of things, and he started getting way better than me at guitar <laughs> as we played. We'd go all around Manchester, we'd just walk with our guitars and play at the park and have people come up and tell us, we're playing the wrong Sabbath song, you should play this Sabbath song. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just pretty much, I've loved music my whole life, more so the uh, just the entertaining of the masses. I love to entertain people, whether it's make them cry, make them scream, or make them laugh. Yeah. Definitely make However, them laugh. However, I've done all kinds of things in entertainment. I wrestle as well. Oh, he is right. a wrestler. You Real are wrestler. a wrestler. Not like a back over, it's only like a oh, wrestler. Oh, wow. Like in a ring. In a <laughs> ring. With pads. Monday, Monday, Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. Monday. <laughs> Now this next song, False Flags, it was featured on 102.9 The Buzz. Yes, that was the one they picked, yeah. the, the ones we sent. I forgot if we sent one or two. Yeah, we sent two. We yeah. sent, and they liked this one apparently. But you know, we get made fun of all the time by 102.9, well, at least twice. I know that 102.9 The Buzz has made fun of the county buzz. Which, it's okay. You know, it's just like, oh, you know what, that's fine. That's fine. We've, yeah. we've been on, we've talked to the DJs before, and they're really cool. Oh, they're yeah. Funny. They were making fun of me and Robert one time. Oh gosh, he made fun of by that radio station. It's like a badge of honor. Me and him were on Free Bear Hot Wings. So oh they, my gosh. And he was on the phone, and then we, we got in on the show. He was on the yeah. air, and he was like making fun of us. Oh yeah, I did that, I did that <laughs> we once. We weren't mad. We thought it was funny. Like, I, I did that once, and they told <laughs> me, many times marching band is not a sport. So, you know, they got that turned into a whole thing. Oh no. 
That's so wrong. I know. <laughs> marching band is a sport. Harsh. Total sport. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, false flags. Um, Want to hear it? This is trying to book some out of town stuff oh, out of nice. state uh, doing some some one-off shows here and there yeah. uh, we're definitely going to be expanding our market and doing a lot that's yeah. and this is oh, all yeah. in collaboration with the album this year we're going to be releasing the album album's yeah. getting our name known and you know we've been building a pretty good base in Murfreesboro because we get a lot of mm -hmm. people who come to our shows and we love seeing them because they're there like every time oh, we, yeah. we got some really good fans that come and see us like some cool people that are there like every time oh, special shout great. out to Iva yeah. Iva there's, there's several come on <laughs> it's always great to have a nice loyal fan base. Yeah. Um, I'm really looking forward to the block show. I'm going to be able to make it. Um, 
one thing you guys were talking about with the block about how local it is, you know, that's one of the things that we want to do here at Hive Notes is you know, focus on the local mu local music in the area. That's so great. Mm -hmm. And you guys are just amazing. So, uh, what's this last song? The Prism? Um, I'll let him explain the actual okay. part of it, but I'll okay. preface it by saying it's not exactly. every song, but like a, a good or a good chunk of our song is we have we do have some political, social yeah. com political slash social commentary on all the right. world. There was a good and chunk of time there that that was kind of all we did. All yeah, our, our sole <laughs> focus. Um, I don't know, and of course, after a while, it's like, well, how many songs can you write about yeah, exactly. this topic? <laughs> but, I don't know. But, but so it, we've definitely yeah we. Branched off into other things, but you know, there's still quite a few songs in the repertoire that, that are of that vein. Yeah, there's stuff we're going to write about in the world. We'll write about it. All right. We're not going to go out of our way just to make sure every song's about something, but uh, yeah. you know, if there's something we feel like we need to write, we'll write it. That's just kind of how we've always been. Definitely but, awesome. Yeah, this song is called The Prism. All right. And he can actually explain what that is. All right. Oh, why don't you? <laughs> well, well, The Prism it is literally the thing. That the NSA was using to spy on our, you know, personal metadata stuff. Oh, okay. And uh, that was like the tool they was using. So we just kind of wrote a cheeky song about that. <laughs> 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 a metaphor, but yeah. all right. And then Katy Perry. Katy Perry. I was gonna give a shout out to Big Brother, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> we know you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. So last one. We've we've enjoyed being here. Oh, I've enjoyed having you. Thank you.
at least um, so you know what uh, from everyone here in the studio thank you thank you so much this has been the first episode of Hive Notes uh, come back next number week one. yes number one <laughs> come back next week and tune in for Dustin Blackwood he's going to be here solo alright yeah, thank you work. everyone have a good night and once again thank you to our featured band Trigger Digit thank you so much for coming on and being the guinea pigs for this first show I really appreciate that <laughs> Thank you for having us. Oh, you're very welcome. And be sure to check them out uh, thir uh, Thursday and Friday. At the just, just Friday. 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 Oh, okay, just Friday. You check them out Friday at the block. Go yes, look both days. days. But they will be live at the block in Murfreesboro this Friday. Go check them out. All right, thank you all. Have a wonderful night. I'm glad that you ended it on a hive note.